My apartment is a bit of a disaster right now. Um, I'm in the process of like a major <laughs> reorganization. Um, so I'm decluttering a lot. So there's a lot out right now. But today's the first day of my apprenticeship, which I am so excited about. This is my outfit for the day. I have been waiting for this day for so long now. Um, and it feels still very like surreal that it's actually happening now. Bringing this big boy light pad so I can do some drawing and tracing. I have no idea what the assignments are going to be for today. I've been doing a lot of assistant work for Ren, the artist I'm apprenticing under. And so that's like a lot of email stuff. But now we're getting into like the drawing, tattooing kind of thing. And I'm so, so jazzed. I want to get flowers because I'm interning at Flower House Tattoo and I feel like it would be a really lovely way to kind of celebrate my time there. So I got some roses and then didn't really film much of the rest of my first day but I definitely filmed tomorrow. and. Basically my format of day is pretty similar every day where I come in and I help with the client and do some assistant work and watch Ren tattoo. Look how beautiful that is. And then afterwards I clean up the station for her and any other visiting artists as well as setting up the station for her again. In addition to all of that, now that I'm apprenticing, I also need to make sure I'm drawing enough and it also looks like making sure that I am consistently tracing and doing my homework assignments. It's day two and I am bringing a vase, an extra vase I have because the studio did not have one. So I will be heading on the train to head over to the studio. It's like a 25, 30 minute commute each way. Here's me walking the studio. It's actually a really lovely studio with incredible energy and just really good vibes. But. Here's my little outfit for the day. It was really hot today, so I thought I'd do a sheer dress moment and repot said flowers. Although it did look really cute in here originally. Look how pretty all the plants are. Today, I actually helped make my very first stencil, which I am super excited about. Look how it turned out. I didn't even set anything on fire. And I'm just cutting it out for Ren so she can she can place the stencil on. And it, it is this really lovely, large cover-up with, with a lot of flowers. Overall, the general style of the studio is a lot of florals, um, more so traditional florals, but overall florals and botanicals. So most tattoos you'll see in my videos will be that format. Overall, I'm kind of just a jack of all trades and offer to help in wherever I can as an apprentice. And what's really cool about learning from Ren is she has a lot of experience. So sometimes you'll even see her draw on clients. I didn't get 
I didn't take any video of it, but she did that for this piece. So when I get the chance, I'm also constantly tracing on a light pad. You can see some of the past tracings I've done, and I've started to try to redo the designs a bit, but they don't look as good when I am redoing it. So lots and lots of tracing. After I trace in pencil, the next step is for me to move on and trace in pen. And then after pen, I'll move on to watercolor paper and then actually start painting. But honestly, I'm pretty happy taking each step of the way and I'm just really excited and want to take my time to make sure I'm learning everything I possibly can each step of the way. And then tattoos finished. I like to ra watch Ren tattoo because I think there's so much you can learn through observation. And looking lovely. After the tattoos completed, it's time for me to come in and I will do all the setups and take down again. I'll set up or I will take it down and then set it up again for the next session tomorrow. I recorded even less of the next day, but I thought I would show off a really tight wrapped machine that I have done. And for day three, I honestly didn't film a ton as well. I'm still getting used to the whole filming thing and figuring out how I want to capture this correctly. but. This is the session that I learned from Lena that while at the studio, you should spend the most of your time watching people tattoo and asking questions and learning from them because this is how you can really soak it in. And that's for her apprenticeship. She spent most of her time observing her mentor, like it just hovering over and watching him tattoo. So after hearing and learning this i think you'll see in future vlogs i start switching over from drawing a lot at the studio to wrapping up any assistant work i can do and watching the tattooing actually happen for this i learn more about mags this is a really big one and I kind of learned how you're moving your hands with it. I don't know how to describe it, but kind of the angles you want to use the mag at, kind of the strokes you want to do, and especially with gradients like this, you want to be really deliberate about how you are shading. I also learned about holidays for the first time. I don't know if this is an actual thing or not, but Lena was joking that a holiday is when there is like a little tiny, tiny sliver of white in an area that's supposed to be blackout because the ink took a holiday, which I thought was cute. But this is a piece that she's been working on for, I think it, it's been a year, many, many sessions. And today was the last appointment. So really cool to see the final product. I don't have it in this video, but you can follow her and, and check it out. But it looks really sick. Lena also inspired me to go get my own sketchbook to take notes, 
to sketch and draw and just keep track of progress as I learned throughout my apprenticeship and other workshops. So I went and got a really solid sketchbook, great pencil and eraser, just the basics to make sure I can keep track of all the things that I learn. My Friday do typically include plant watering, so I always try to make sure I water the plants to keep them all alive and healthy. And there's so many plants here because this is flower house tattoo. So what would it be without a ton of flowers and greenery? But yeah, welcome to the first week of my apprenticeship. Anyways, I have talked enough for today about what I learned this past week and my thoughts on what I've done this past week as a tattoo apprentice. So like, comment, subscribe for more tattoo content because I'm only going to go further down this rabbit hole and I want to bring you all with me. So, and if you are another apprentice in the New York area, let me know, drop your handle below. I'd love to follow and make more tattoo friends since I am a, a baby tattoo apprentice and I don't know a ton of people in this space now. So I will see you all next time. Thanks for watching. If you made it this far, 